My name is Guy Vergis, Guy Vergis K. Matthews. I'm the chief trainer of the Walnut Organization. In logical reasoning, what are the different questions, what are the different types of uh, questions you may expect? Possibly one of the area you may see right here, these are number series type questions. Then you have letter series, then you have coding, decoding, and well, uh, directions and all set of all lot of questions are there. Let's take a look at this number series questions first. This would be one of the sticky area for those who are not really comfortable with numbers. Those who have a little bit of numerophobia, but no need to worry. We'll take it but simple steps, baby steps for the time being. So let's look at the first series right here. 23, 25, 28, 32, 37. Uh, what is the next number in the series? It's pretty simple. You see this? 23 plus 2 is 25. And 25 plus 3 is 28 and 28 plus 4 is 32 and 32 plus 5 is 37 naturally when you look at this the differences are plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and next one would be plus 6 so 37 plus 6 43 it's a pretty simple question however you may have a question in your mind right now do we get a question like this for the net exam Unfortunately, no. This is too simple. Exam. However, we look at the next question. What happens to the next question? 23, 25, 28, 33, and 40. 23 plus 2. And 25 plus 3, 28. 28 plus 5. That is 33. 33 plus 7. That is 40. Well, in this case, it was plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6. It was so easy for us. But in this case, it is plus 2, plus 3, plus 5, plus 7. What are those numbers? Plus 2, plus 3, plus 5, plus 7. Well, if you think about it, when you see that 2, 3, 5, if you just recall the prime numbers, what you have learned in what school level. See that? Plus 2, plus 3, plus 5. These are consecutive five prime numbers. The next prime number would be 11. So, well, 40 plus 11, 51 would be the answer. Simple, right? And we'll take a look at another question. This is question number one, this is question number two, and uh, we'll look at question number three. Let's say 10, 17, 26, 37, 50. Uh, what's the next number in the series? Well, naturally, this is what? The difference method would come to our mind. So this is what? 10 plus 7 is 17, right? 17 plus 9, that is 26. And 26 plus 11 is 37. And 37 plus 13 is 50. Well, the differences are plus 7, Plus 9, plus 11, plus 13. These are what? Consecutive odd numbers. So next odd number would be 15. So 50 plus 15, 65. This question, this method is perfectly all right. However, sometimes you may have three digit numbers over here. So that case, it is a bit difficult for us to find the difference between those three digit numbers at that point of time. So for that, we have to look at this question in a slightly different way. Do we have a better method? That means less time con consuming method to get the answer for this question without doing these differences, without calculating these differences. Well, I'll just invite your attention to these numbers which I'm going to write over here. So well, near to that 10, what I'm going to write is 9, 17, I'm going to write what 16 and 26 25 and 37 36 and 50 49 now think about those numbers look at these numbers 9 16 25 36 49 do you have anything come to your mind at this point of time when you look at these numbers these are the squares of counting numbers starting from 3 so what is it 3 square 4 square 16 5 square 25 6 square 36, 7 square. Now, what is 10? 3 square plus 1. What is 17? 4 square plus 1. 
What is 26? 5 squared plus 1. And 37? 6 squared plus 1. And what is 50? 7 squared plus 1. Naturally, your answer must be 8 squared, that is 64, plus 1, 65. See that? If you know the squares of numbers, ready-made answer. What do you need? Three seconds to find the answer. What do you think? Good? All right.